All right, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to get started hooking up React Router so we can get multiple pages going on our blog. We're going to start where we left off in the last episode, but if you need to catch up, get check out React Router. React Router is a component-based way to set up routing in our app. It's also a great supplemental library for all your React projects. So let's install that now. In the terminal, let's npm install React Router and React Router DOM. Cool. So it's time to make our blog better. Let's add two more pages to the blog. The gallery page, which will list our articles, and the article page, which will render our individual posts. We'll use what we have so far as our about page. So in app root, let's create a new component. We'll call it about. And we'll take the HTML within this return statement, and we'll copy it inside. Notice in this component, we're using the parentheses as opposed to the curly brackets. Our next component will be much simpler. We're going to make a div and put an h1 inside. This is gallery. And we're going to copy that, and we're going to make another page, and it'll be called article. All right, now inside our app root render, let's set up the React router. We're going to say router. It's going to take an empty div. And we'll put another empty div in there. We'll give it a class name. Nav. So we can style that later. Nav is going to take a link component. And the root of our app will link to our gallery. Let's copy that twice. We'll make one for about. We'll make one for article. All right, now outside of our nav, we're going to create three route components. These route components take a component prop. We're just going to pass our functions to this component prop. So about for about. An article for article. Last thing we want to do is take off this exact for about an article. All right, so we've set up our router in the app root component. Now let's import these router components at the top. Let's import the browser router and we'll rename it to router. Then we'll import route and link. All this comes from the React Router DOM library. All right, so we have three pages. Let's start this up and see where we're at seems to compile successfully. What does it look like in a browser? In variant violation, browser history needs a DOM. So this is an error related to our server. Since we've set up server-side rendering and development, we're going to need a way to do that. Right now, routing only works in the client side. To show that off, let's go back to our Webpack dev client. And let's uncomment the HTML Webpack plugin. Make sure your commas. It's going to reload give us an HTML file. And when we reload our browser, it's a little hard to see, but we can see we have three links, and we have the heading. So if we go to About, we see our About page, Article, Gallery. So React Router is working. All right. But as we said before, there's a server-side rendering problem. We'll get back to the server-side rendering in React in a minute. But for right now, let's add some styling so our navigation is a little prettier. At the top of app root, let's import nav CSS. In our terminal, let's create that in source components. Now inside nav CSS, let's create a bit of styling to make our navigation better. We'll give it a width of 100, a line height of 2, and a background color of black. 
As to the links inside the nav, let's make those white, no text decoration. And a padding of horizontal 20. Now in main CSS, let's change this h1 to be a global. All right, so when we npm run dev again, we can see that it can't come up on this server route here. We have to go to our root. And there we have it. We have a much better looking navigation and all of our headings styled. Now, as I said before, we broke hot module reloading. So this doesn't update. If we went back to our Webpack client, we can get that working again by switching out this extract text plugin for what we used to have. We can put two loaders in here, the style loader and the CSS loader. And now when that recompiles, we can update this once again. You can see that the hot module reloading works. So it's not totally broken. It's just been replaced. For right now, I'm gonna keep it at the extract text plugin, but just know that you can do either one. In a couple episodes, we're gonna learn how to do this the real way using CSS chunks. All right, so having three pages is pretty cool, but they're all in one file now. So what I'd like to do next is to break them up into separate files so that we can start working on the server side routing. So inside our terminal, let's CD into source components. Now let's create a few components. We can create routes about gallery an article. All right, back in our root, let's grab the about. And we're gonna put these in all of their component directories. We're gonna switch this out for export default. And then we're gonna grab a couple of things from here. All right, galleries next. Back to export default. We're just gonna need React from here. article as well. So let's clean this up. So now we want to put this into routes. So we want to actually grab out the inner div, leave the router, and let's just call this routes. We'll import routes from routes. Let's just go grab that now. Let's do export default. Again, make sure you're using the parentheses. And this is gonna require a couple of things. React, of course, but then also the route and link. So we can take route and link out of here. We're just using it here. Now finally, we need to import our three components here. So let's import gallery, about an article. All right, looks good. So now that we have everything broken out, we're gonna switch our server-side render to the static router. So let's close some of these down, clean up a bit. Let's go into render.js. From now on, we should consider AppRoot to be the client-side AppRoot since it uses the browser router. As to our server-side, let's switch this out to the static router. Let's pass that routes as well. So we no longer need to bring in app root. Let's delete that. So let's bring in the static router from React Router. And we'll bring in the routes from components routes. Now the static router requires two props. First, it needs to know where we are, and it gets that from the location prop. So for us, this means passing the request URL from Express Middleware to the static router. Secondly, it needs a context. Since we don't have anything for that, 
we're just going to give it an empty object. All right, let's open up our dev client again. And this time we're going to take out the HTML Webpack plugin altogether. Now npm run dev again. And we can see our markup has gallery in it. So what about prod? So let's npm run prod. We can see that prod is rendering markup as well. So if we go to article, we can see the article markup. In about, we have the about markup. All right, so we have simple server-side static routing using React Router. In this episode, we hooked up React Router into our client and server-side rendering, making two new pages for our blog and separating our pages into their own components. We also looked at unhooking the server-side temporarily and using the HTML Webpack plugin to look at only our client side. If you need the final code, get check out React Router Final. Up next, we're going to finish off our universal render build with the inclusion of dynamic imports. See you there.